this rebar here. You see that rebar? So now I need to make a door buck. So when I pour the concrete and then I pull the wooden door buck out, this door will actually fit in there. Got about a quarter inch gap there, maybe a little less. And over here, I'm already tight. I got something done today. Got the door buck from the garage down here and installed. You see we got about three quarters of an inch on each side. Got a top support right here. Got a support on the right side. Two by six. Rock solid. It says in two hours it's going to rain. So I'm going to make use of the two hours, close off the uh, opening in the ICF wall. So we're going to begin to seal this up over here. I gotta make sure I get the eight inch 90s. Um, I also have six inch 90s. Right now we're working on the ICF below grade. When we go to ICFs above grade, it, it'll go from an eight inch to a six inch when we go ICF above grade. Got a rebar to secure in here. I'll, I'll get you over here to take a closer look at what I'm doing. But look at that. We sealed it up. This rebar here. See that rebar? Let's take a quick look out here. Oh, that looks nice. Um, I can feel a couple of raindrops coming. And so, 
Um, I'm well pleased. We took advantage of uh, about two hours and uh, we got that whole corner done. All right, friends, here's the rain. We planned that just right. Yes, we did. And it says these next two days are gonna be sunny and uh, followed by four to five more days of rain. So these next two days, I wanna do the, as much as I can uh, to get uh, this thing completed and ready for the concrete pour for the walls. So the task for today is the workman's platform in the area where we sealed up the corner of the ICFs. And you can see that back there. So let's go in the garage and get cutting on that pile of wood. All right, friends, we're gonna fill up some of these gaps that we have. This is the uh, section that I put a bunch of small pieces just to use them up. And you can see this one's got quite a big gap in there. No big deal. Um, we'll use the spray foam and that'll seal that right up uh, with no problem. So I'll do this on the inside and I'll also do it on the outside. So let's get sealing up. It's always good to have gloves on. You get this stuff on your fingers, it'll be on there for three, four days before you wear it all off. Break time. Oh, that's good. Ah, back at it. Our task today putting in the vertical rebar. I'm gonna take the mule over to the rebar laydown yard. <laughs> uh, we're working on the vertical rebar project. What we wanna do is the vertical rebar that's sticking out of the concrete footer is sticking out about 30 inches and we want to lay long pieces right alongside it. What these are for, put it on and when the wall is all built and we're working up on the, the top, when you stick that long piece down, dangling it down there, you get it down in there, just a little tap with a hammer and it's in place. When the concrete is being poured and everything is splashing around, it holds it nice and you got your, your 20 inch overlap. So let's see how this is going to turn out here. All right, friends, we're gonna do a little bit of re vertical rebar tying up. 
Uh, let me show you what uh, it looks like. It's all you need right there. <laughs> all right, it's not rocket science tying up these vertical rebars, but uh, I want it done um, because when that concrete starts to splash around, I don't want to have to worry about it. It may seem I'm going overboard with a lot of detail, but I may not have a lot of help the day of the pour. And I can't afford to be running around fixing this, adjusting that. Oh, I forgot about this. I need to make sure that everything is rock solid. Um, so anyways, so let's finish tying these up. Once again, friends, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.